Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another video. Today being Fate Grand Order, because uh, by depending on when you hear this, there will only be, I think, around 24 hours? Maybe, maybe... Actually, I should know when I release this. Uh, 28 hours left, maybe? Something close to that. I'll be too busy with the Fire Emblem Heroes event, so basically I'm doing the last of my uh, Sanzong coming to the west grind now. That's today's video. So, the last of it is uh, orb farming. My orb farming is just not as good as my um, in general farming because when this event first came out, I never was able to get um, the main orb. Uh, the main orb uh, CE to full max unbind. So it's actually very annoying. So I started off with not the greatest, but there you go. I'm gonna just show off this stage first, and then I'll go off and do other stuff. Uh, excuse me, man. Ugh. By the way, if you end up liking this video, make sure to leave a like uh, and subscribe to me if you want more grinding videos. I make a lot of just grinding videos because I like to I like to show off what the games actually are. And this is what fake Grand Order is. <laughs> it's a lot of grinding. Uh, hello, snake women. So, this is always a basic. Here's Arush. If you're wondering, like, yo, what's Quetzalcoatl doing here? Well, depending on how good our... Um, uh, depending on how good our cards are, I'll show off exactly why Quetzalcoatl's here. Because you're probably wondering, yo, Wookie, isn't the next stage require you to take down three of these caster enemies in one turn, and she, doesn't she only have a NP that deals one? That hits one of them? And we got a bad one. Okay. Cool. Never mind. So keep on wondering that. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. That's a huge suck. Well, we can at least take down two. With the right arts, um, with the right cards specifically, I should say, it is 100% possible to take out all three of these snake women with one Quetzalcoatl. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, we got very unlucky. So I'll go here. So it's gonna take four turns instead of three. That's fine. I use her because I like Quetzalcoatl a whole bunch. Look at this. Boom. That's power. That's true power. I love her so much. Oh, man! Very sad. I would have been able to beat it if um, Mo had drawn a um, Buster card, by the way. She didn't. So I'm just gonna let Quetzalcoatl completely kill the snake woman in one go. Blah, 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 blah. This is so overkill. It's fine. I still have all my waiver buffs for this turn, so it's fine. Fatal Battle. Ox Demon King. She has like. So I'm gonna use Mana Burst, and then I'm gonna use this Gut Skill because it also gives a boost to, to Buster if I remember correctly. Use this here, and boom, boom, boom. She should be dead from one Noble Phantasm, if I'm correct in this. The Evil Sword is destroyed my father. Yeah, you're doing it right now, dude. Now, if I remember right, I believe Mo actually does bonus damage to Artoria units. I think that's the case. I can't actually remember at the moment. I'll check when I, we go to the next stage. Oh, there you go. And yeah, here are the drops. Not the greatest of drops, but... If that last CE I had for him was at full uh, unbind, it would be great, but it's not, so... The grinding just isn't as good as it could be. It's a shame, but... I do it so I can be able to do it in less than three to either I need either less than four turns basically. And here's the grind node for this one. Uh, let me see, I need lotuses. Perfect. Thank you for the lotus. So let me just check real quick. Should should say on the noble phantasm if it deals extra damage. Yeah, Arthur enemies. So she's great for that, uh, for that fight. Uh, is this petals? This is petals. Is this the right outfit to put on? I 
feel like that's... Oh, okay, now I know why. Yeah, so I have the exact same problem with this node as I had the other node, where I'm using units that it's actually kind of iffy if I'm able to three-turn them or not. I'm sure there's better units. There are actually better units. Instead of using um, uh, the right... Um, Artoria Lancer Ar Arthur? No, Artoria Tor Tor Saber Lancer Altar. There you go. Uh, instead of her, I could use uh, Camilla, and she would be able to easily kill her. Able to kill this giant dragon that I'm about to fight. But if I get lucky, let's see if it works out. If I get lucky, I should be able to three turn it with just her, and it's not really an issue. The main issue is Skathatch. She makes it very annoying. I now remember why I have this out outfit on. You'll see very well. You'll see why very soon. It's a shame it's a quick buster upper. If it was not quick, it'd be better. So I'm gonna use that. Use that. Hmm. Not perfect. By definition, not perfect. Go here. We did, of course, have to get lucky and hope that she's able to bust this dragon. Oh, wait. If I remember right. Perfect. That's the other reason why I use this one. I need 100%. There we go. Still gonna be a little bit iffy on this one. Because, unfortunately, Mo got two cards there, so there's a... Full chance that we're just gonna get four waiver cards in the next fight. Thrust and feast. Hit that dragon. Now this should work out. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Buster crits, even when not with Merlin, they work fantastic. Uh, okay. Now, this is the part of the fight that's actually very annoying if I don't know if I can kill her in one go. Mm, that's a no-go. I needed another one of her cards, I didn't get it. Well, just use that. Deal as much damage as I can. That's a shame. It happens, though. And of course, I'm also using Mo because she also has a bonus in this stage. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure there's another- no, there isn't actually a better saber I can use. Alright. Thank you for the evade. Really? Oh, Mo still doesn't have her. It's fine. Please deal 20,000 in these two. I also realized too late that I should have given it to, um... I messed that up because I forgot that if you attack someone with evade, with a unit that ignores evade, they lose evade. So, gonna run that back one again. See if I can get lucky this time. Thank you. Leave my sight. Yeah, this has kind of just been my team for this specific node. Just constantly fighting it nonstop. And I'm gonna have to be- I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Not even for this video, just because I don't think you guys have enough time in the world to see me do this. Got a decent amount of lotuses. I could get more, but again, I want to focus on beating it in so many turns. Um, if it takes more turns than necessary, then it kind of gets annoying. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I think there totally is a way for me to be able to beat it. One moment, I just realized something. So, let me see. Just to make this video go faster, I will use Richie's. Ah. Uh. So. Perfect. And then instead of this one, this one's going to be unfortunate just because I'm going to lose. Actually, it should work out. As always, this suit, I try and not use it just because it's so easy to abuse, but... I think you should already see what I'm doing. So I completely forgot that that, um, that CE that a lot of the my supports have actually increases Buster Arts. So that's going to help a whole bunch. And it's going to make grinding much more effective, I think. Let's find out, though. 
I'm just literally making it up. I just came up with the idea right now. So let's see how this goes. Hello. Hello, dragon. Mm. Let's see if I can get a little bit from this. It shouldn't be given a lot. I think it's only going to be like one or two, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. Well, very little bit. It's not his best skill. To be fair, Arash only has one really good use, and it's that Noble Phantasm and that skill three. It's the combo of those two that make him so good. I'm also looking forward to Mordred, Mordred getting her um, new animations. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, this one actually is really nice, actually. Down here. Then I believe I'm trying to not mess up on this on this <laughs> on this current thing. So then I'll switch. This should work out. I've already used everything. Perfect. Use this. Use this. Use this. Use this. She should be able to kill him even without a um, crit. But if I'm wrong on this one, then I've completely screwed up everything. You got this, girl. Ooh. Damn it. Okay. Alright, we're back. I reset the bracket. <laughs> I basically reset time. I'm actually going to use this ability here. And that should give... Yep. Now it's dead. Yeah, okay. Lesson learned. Next time, if you're unsure, just use it. But if that had been another buster instead of a quick, this guy would have been dead. So that's good to know. Live and learn, as they say. As Sonic would say. Okay. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been funny if she still lost? <laughs> if she still, like, somehow this dragon still survived that? It'd be pretty hilarious. Alright, final battle. Truly the test of everything. This here. Boom. And then also... This should be finally enough to completely kill Skithatch. You got this, Mo. I believe in you. Do it while your father's watching. Make your father proud for once. Mo, 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 Yeah! Alright, so now this is my new grinding team. That works out because I forgot Nightingale has a first a buster crit up and then she also helps out in general. I think a lot of people kind of underrate the nurse because she's not the greatest of supporters, but I think she's actually really cool. I like her. So that's today's video. I hope you liked it too. Man, I'm going to keep grinding off screen, have myself a merry old time. I don't know. As Toast was mentioning in the Legends video, uh, I don't know why I like this grind more than I do Legends, even though in theory Legends take less time. I just think Legends is mad fucking boring. Mm, I think that's fair, right? Again, I like setting up the teams. I'm gonna set up my giant woman. There we go. Give everyone a nice pretty sight. Alright, everyone. That's the end of today's video. I wish you good luck on your grinding on the final days of this grind. Until next time, everyone. I'll see you in Apocrypha. Goodbye. Stop record. There it is. Later.